Well, we had a chilly live stream this morning, didn't we, Magpie? It's nice and cold out there, like a proper winter February day. Thanks to everyone who was in the live stream. I got inspired to make a mango orange smoothie before starting a day where I might shit my pants today. I'm doing some crazy stuff. not make it in time to finish this thumbnail before meeting up with my friend. It's all right, Maggie. We'll put up the vlog this afternoon. Bye guys, be good. I'll be back in a few hours and we'll go do something, okay? I promise. Love you. Like maybe a couple miles away that we can go through. Yeah, we go to UCLA too. Whoa, you gotta like do some muscle ups on that sculpture or something, man. All right, well, I met up with Ben and we're gonna go figure out some non violent civil disobedience awesome shit to balance on. This dude's got like burns all over his legs from the slack line. <laughs> I didn't do the slide line. Okay. Look at that, dude. Jeez. The legs are all torn up. That was from the double spin flip I was doing. Oh yeah, two days ago. I got that on the vlog. Oh, this is a pretty sick spot. So yeah, we can't get arrested, bro, because I have a dog now. I have a responsibility. So if anything happens, it's all on you. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is great. Access. We gotta do that one. Alright. So and we're there, so it's over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. First obstacle. Can we pass through? And it's locked. Alright. Oh, we can try a different way. Are we gonna climb? Man, why, why does the man have to get us down, you know? Why do people always block things, make it difficult for adventurers like us? Fuck them. It looks real nice. Yeah, it's this pool deck up there. My head is a bit gross. No. So this door is locked. I'm trying to figure it out. I see you can just push it on the other side. Here's where the vlog comes in handy. Now let's make sure there's no cops up here. Oh, see, that's so dumb. People build things. I mean, I'm grateful, but people are so stupid. All I did was just put my hand around there and push that. God, see, there's always a, a way around, people. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. We just found access to this, and we can come at any time. <laughs> oh, there's some people over there. All right, now we're locked in a staircase. A stairwell. Should I go up and see? Might as well. Last one till the roof. So at any point, some security find, could find us and be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Oh shit. Wait, Ben. Are you authorized? No. I think you are. I think you're good enough at slacklining to be authorized. Now officially, if security comes and sees us, we are not supposed to be here. Let's put it, let's put it that way. But we're not harming anyone, okay? Nobody. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy shit. 
Dude, you're about to walk on this shit, aren't you? Should we find the drag? Oh, this is wide. I thought it was gonna be like skinny. <laughs> is that a helicopter landing? That's a helicopter landing. Yeah, it is. Just get up there. I want to get some shots like this. Yeah, I have a good place to go. <laughs> oh no, are we locked? Oh no. Oh, the helicopter is leaving. We should still go, huh? Now we know where to take a quick dip forever in downtown LA. You just have to have long arms to open the door. <laughs> What's up? You love dates? Dude, this is my favorite fruit. Oh my, I had this for the first the, time two months and, ago. And what kind of date did you have? Was it from a grocery store? I don't know. It was in Yosemite. Some like hippie girl gave me All one. Right, probably grocery store. Check out that date. Mm. Next level, right? It was so good. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it when I tasted it. Like it tastes like you're eating cake. Yeah. So Ben's been telling me his life story here in the car after we just did that bonkers activity. Oh yeah, I haven't really checked in with the vlog. That was insane. We did it. No one caught us. No one was harmed. Uh, let's just make like a statement right now for all of the young and adult human beings watching this video. We don't condone going out and being stupid and breaking rules and hurting yourself. You're just a professional. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm a professional slackliner. I know how to balance. He's one of the top 10 in the world and I didn't have any experience doing this. I wouldn't have gone and kind of gone into this apartment building on my own having no experience I felt comfortable with my friend Ben who is one of the best in the world he travels I mean, we're gonna talk more about his life story in the podcast because he just told me we kind of have the same story we grew up nice families went to college figured out like is this really serving us and instead we went out onto the road and just hope that the universe provides and now we've connected with each other and we're gonna make content and it just, it works. When Heck you, yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you have positive uh, intentions, you can manifest your ultimate reality. And like Ben is trying to build a slack line business now. Uh, so you're gonna be able to buy his slack line soon. He's manufacturing them. It's so epic. And yeah, I'm gonna get you on the podcast tonight to reveal all of your, all of your stories from being in engineering school to sleeping on the beach and slacklining professionally and climbing on 30 story buildings. Although that wasn't even that big for you, right? No, that was, that was a decent size one. But you said you've been on a 90 story building. Yeah, in Chicago, that was crazy. And were you walking tall. on a rail like you were today? It was a little bit wider than that, but yeah. So bro, what do you think? First uh, first look at the footage. Yeah, I love it. It's so sick. Guys, it's insane. You'll see what we just did. Whew, actually, they probably have already seen it. Maggie, it was crazy, but I stayed safe for you. I let him climb on the 30-story building. I stay safe for you now. I don't get crazy. All right, we're having persimmon banana and ice cream, and you've never had persimmons, huh, bro? This might be the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Like not even just fruit, just thing in general? Yeah, dude, this is, okay, maybe like dark chocolate might be 
like, uh -huh. like up here, but this is... What about dark chocolate? What about persimmon dipped in dark chocolate? That would be the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to expose you to the wonderful world of fruits. People just don't know how to eat fruit, but I know how to eat good fruit. Maggie, you want some no, persimmon? I really can't believe this. Yeah, we're about to this have it. so good. We're about to have it in ice cream form. How's your nice cream? This is so good. <laughs> Dude, vegan food's the best. Yes, you're going, I mean. I didn't get paid to say that. <laughs> I mean, you said you've pretty much been vegan just based on default because you've been hopping around places and you can't keep any animal products on you in your backpack, right? Yeah, so if you want a meat product, you have to either eat it or refrigerate it. And it's also more expensive. I don't have a refrigerator. Yeah, screw that. So Same with any dairy product. You have to refrigerate it. So I've just been eating vegetables and Tortillas. Bread. And yeah, hopefully after hanging out with me, you'll go, you'll go full on vegan. It's the way to go. Alright, we just uh, edited today's footage. How do you feel about the video? Dude, it was sick! <laughs> yeah. The best footage I've ever gotten, I think. It was awesome. That's so awesome. So Ben has like a really cool Instagram of his slacklining and uh, rooftopping videos. He's got like 20,000 followers, but you post like only a couple times a month. Dude, it's gonna change. My computer got stolen. Once I get a new computer, Every day, baby. Yes, it's all about that consistency. And if you want to watch him, uh, if you like to shit your pants and watch people do things that you would never do and get inspired. Cause like, I'm guessing even today, right? It's not that you were nervous. That's just like within your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't do anything if I think there's even the slightest chance I'm gonna die. Right. Uh, except for driving a car. That's, uh, that's a little dangerous. Exactly, dude. That's what I'm saying. I, can, I, I ride my bike all over the world and like, yeah, some people would find that dangerous and there are certain dangers, but everyone just has a different level of what makes them comfortable. Like, I don't drink alcohol because I think it's toxic for you, but I'm fine riding my bike. Like, you know, it's just, it, it's just different. Like, you just gotta figure out what's right for you. What's right for you, Maggie? I think what's right for you is to run all day and go play fetch, so let's go! Kind of. You can put it up on the stove there. Nice. I think the popsicles tasted just like this. Yeah, new age beverage. Check them out. Do they sponsor you or, or no? Just the sport of slacklining in general. Nice. So, how do you, what do you think about this meal? Are you happy? Dude, I'm, I haven't eaten it yet, but dude, I'm excited. I was watching them prepare it. Wow. <laughs> Look at that burrito. We got sweet potatoes, white potatoes, beans, tomato sauce, squash, veggies. Oh, it's Dude, amazing. This is, this is what he eats every day. And I'm when I'm home, you can watch my videos. When I'm on the road, I eat pasta and ketchup and oatmeal. Um, but as I change environments, my diet changes. When I get into Mexico, I'll be eating papayas and uh, bananas and all that. But we're going to go watch the show that uh, Ben likes, Border Towns. Yeah, I just started watching it. Let's go it's watch funny. it. Some of my Slackland friends showed me it. <laughs> I've watched like four episodes and I'm hooked. No, I'm doing this. Hey, I heard your head exploded. Nah, that was just a joke. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get my daughter to break things off with an alien too. So, ah, it's cool. you! I went after I'm using a lot. You know, I'm throwing this beat a lot. 
Good day, man. I guess in Thank your you, life man. and mine, another day alive is a huge victory. Huge victory. <laughs> Gotta be grateful for that stuff. That um, yeah, was great. I'm glad I got to feed a fellow traveler and nomad doing epic shit um, and enjoying the house. Tomorrow we are gonna go explore an abandoned building that I used to hike to with my girlfriend in 10th grade, I remember. Ooh, and grade. I don't know if I've been there since. It's a dope spot and we'll get some really gnarly footage. I wanna clarify again, if anyone was triggered by the danger from today's video, that's okay, but I like that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying that it's safe. I'm not saying that it's smart. I'm saying it's safe. It's not safe. You just have to do whatever is comfortable for you. I like pushing my limits. I understand it's a risk. I don't do things mindlessly and recklessly. I understand what I'm getting into and it's exhilarating for me. You know, we pretty much broke into a building that we weren't supposed, we didn't break because we didn't break anything, but we found our way through a building that maybe they was slightly not advised, but we didn't hurt anyone. We didn't break anything. We just went in, didn't, did, vandalize. didn't vandalize. We did our business. We left everything untouched. And then we left and posted an epic video on the B underscore Schneid's Instagram account. So go check him out. And you guys can go buy his slack line in a few months when your product is available, which is so sick. I should buy it and honestly take it on the road because I want to hone my slacklining craft. You'll see us slacklining over the next few days. I want to spend just like a whole day learning from you, man. Sounds awesome. Oh, it's going to be great. And tomorrow's going to be sick too. I'll teach you the double backflip. I'm not so sure about that. But yeah, today today was gnarly. Don't, don't go out and do it uh, if you're not with a professional and if it feels dangerous to you but I like being gnarly and I'm not afraid or embarrassed or ashamed by it. It's just people like to live different ways. Much love, Dream Extreme.